Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to edit photos using the adjustment layers. So, I'm back again with Reese Witherspoon. I have this great image of her. But let's say I wanted to lighten the colors a little bit. I wanted to maybe change the colors. I want to make it black and white. You know, whatever. There's tons of things you can do. Now, for this step, you don't technically have to make a new layer, but I just like to get in the in the habit of making a copy of my background. I just think it's smart, just do it, okay? You can always get rid of it later. Later. So over here, you have libraries and you have adjustments, okay? So we're gonna be working in here to add adjustments. So when you go across these little icons, it tells you what it's called, okay? So we have brightness, contrast, levels, curves, exposure, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna start with brightness contrast and you'll see immediately a new layer has come up so what this does is it plays with the brightness and the contrast so I can click and move this up move it down I definitely recommend you know playing around move it all the way up move it all the way down and see what it is it actually does okay so let's say that looks nice I want to up the contrast a little bit Maybe a lot of it, maybe a lot more. Whoa, a little blown out. And then once I'm done, these little arrows here will collapse it. Now, let's do another one. I want to do color balance. Okay. So this shows you kind of the levels of red versus cyan, green versus magenta, blue versus yellow. So I can play around with this. So I'm just gonna move this towards red and I get something like that, which is kind of fun, right? Move it down. Maybe I'm gonna go towards that so I'll pop a little bit more towards magenta. and Maybe even more towards yellow, let's see. Oh, goodness. I'm happy with that. Move it down. Now, here's another thing. Every time I'm clip clicking on one of these adjustments, it's making a new layer. So I can do a ton of different adjustments and I can come back in and go, okay, do I like that? Do I like that? You know, you can always just play around with that. Let's see, let's do one more. I am really fond of this one. I use this a lot in my own work. So this is Levels. And what it does now, these little um, lines, normally this is like a smooth line, but it, they're kind of broken up because we've already altered the colors, and that's totally fine. So what this does is it allows you to adjust the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. Okay, so let's say I want to take the highlights and make them brighter. I want to make the mid-tones a little darker. And I want to make the shadows darker. So I can go all the way. So this is a good way of kind of playing around with that. I use this tool a lot. And again, I can come back in, turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off. Turn it back on. Oh, that's cool, actually. Look at that. Okay, so you might find a good combination that you like. Let's do one, one more. Black and white. It's black and white. Now you can kind of make it, you know, not all blacks, blacks and white are the same. So you, you can kind of adjust. Maybe brighten that up. Whoa, crazy. Let's see. Okay, now again, doesn't mean everything else is gone. Now, I like to do this in here. You can also go to image adjustments and you're gonna see that all these adjustments are listed there. This is grayed out at the moment but because it's black and white. But all these adjustments are listed there. Now if I go, let's see, let's say I go to brightness contrast a new layer hasn't popped up, okay? It's gonna do this to the whole image 
and it's going to be corruptive. It's going to corrupt your image. You can do it like this. I just recommend you don't, okay? So I'm going to cancel that. It's all the same. This is an easier way to work, and you have a lot of freedom to turn these things off and on, okay? So I hope this was helpful. Email me if you have questions. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.